welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back girl we make lifestyle content over on this channel mainly in the form of vlogs like today's video but every now and again we too will do a girl chat we'll do a sit down video a beauty video um and today's video is a vlog and i hope that you enjoy it so today is actually a saturday um i had like a pretty relaxed start to my day and the purpose of this vlog that I'm starting now is to actually um, give you guys a little bit of insight on my weight loss journey. It's going to be like a normal weekly vlog, but at the end, I want to chat a little bit more intimately about my weight loss journey and also do a very extensive Q and A, like I had promised to you guys over on Instagram. Um, but I thought I'd actually start the video and address a very important part of this journey um, that I'm currently on with my doctor. And that is the aspect of mental health when you are trying to lose weight. And the fact that um, I think my weight struggles over the years have been years fueled by like insulin resistance and hormonal imbalances. But I think the fact that I tend to be an emotional eater and I tend to soothe myself with food during stressful situations or when I'm going through a hard time, um, have only really worked to make the situation worse. And so my husband recommended to me when I started this journey that I actually go back to therapy um, and learn some of those systems, you know, like as in learn how to manage my, my, my stress, how to soothe myself more importantly, because the reality of life, guys, is that we'll always go through hard times and we'll always, you know, experience stressful situations, whether it's from work or from family or just like finances or just any life situation that can cause you stress. Um, and we need to learn mechanisms um, and systems of how we're going to soothe ourselves during those times. And so in finding therapy solutions, I wanted to find something that was going to be suitable for my busy schedule and something that I could easily fit into my schedule. And so I resorted to BetterHelp, who are the sponsors of today's video. And I want to tell you guys a little bit about them. BetterHelp is literally the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get you started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy, and this way BetterHelp is able to match you with the right therapist from your network. Then you can chat to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you with more scheduling flexibility and at a more affordable price. Another thing that I really appreciate about the BetterHelp platform is the fact that if ever I want to change the therapist that I've been allocated or that's been assigned to me, I can do that at no additional charge. I appreciate the fact that it works within my schedule and the fact that I can communicate with my therapist via text even if we're not necessarily having a video session during that time. So if you'd like to join me and 2 million other people globally who have taken charge of their mental health, go to betterhelp.com forward slash zz that's betterhelp.com forward slash zz and get your mental health journey started on the right foot and if you use this specific link you'll get 10 percent off your first month on better help thank you so much to better help for sponsoring today's video so i'm gonna continue on with my day i think i actually want to make my husband and i um like a late breakfast um i've got some work that i need to do and i hope that you enjoy this vlog and i hope that you find the weight loss q a um helpful at the end of this video. I've been lying here for too long I don't know what else to do I want to get away from oh, every little thing so just beautiful. to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really matter Nothing matters so I cry instead I've been running in circles Trying to catch my breath I've been trying everything I can But I ain't got nothing 
nothing left. Ah uh ah, -uh. huge hair. Let's do a quick grocery haul. What's the time? It's exactly five o'clock. <laughs> Let's do a very quick grocery haul. Yeah, cabbage, Willie's low carb um, ice cream, whipping cream, <laughs> not a spinach, my pumpkin, chopped pumpkin. Got some avocado. We might as well name this a precious mineral. Apa is out Got some potatoes. And then it's staring sun and sanji. Which is the whole point of this entire grocery haul. Is I got some easy to cook oxtail. So um today's actually Valentine's Day. It's Tuesday. <laughs> My husband got me some flowers and a little perfume from Lancome, the new um, Lancome Idol Nectar, I think it's called. Um, and my gift to him is dinner. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to be making, but because today's a work day, I don't have the capacity to cook this from scratch. So hence I got the easy to cook. I also got some spinach, is this spinach? Yes, this is chopped spinach. I got some eggs. Let's pack these away. Can you guys see me? Very good, that's better. The camera was still adjusting. I know that I look like Umfanagama with these with these cordos. My husband even says he calls me Umrepa with my wig lines. Like I said, today's Tuesday. It's like almost half past five. Um ooh, that's the wrong password. Can I tell you guys, I've set my laptop password to be my future son's name. <laughs> um, it is, you this blue light is not flattering at all. Let's switch that off. Okay. It's half past five. Okay, focus, focus. It's half past five. We currently have load shedding. Um, the electricity went at four o'clock. Um, and then I placed an order on Willie's app and the guy just delivered now just before five. And it was so quick, like it didn't even take an hour. I think I t I placed the order at like ten past four, and by five o'clock it was here. Um, and I ordered stuff to cook for tonight for dinner because it's a Valentine's Day. With the way that food prices are set up right now, baby, we don't eat oxtail very often. <laughs> we probably have oxtail like three times a year, maybe four. Um, so I'm gonna make it today for dinner for my husband and I. Mainly for him, to be honest, because he likes oxtail. And we're going to have that with idombolo. I want to make creamed spinach and mushrooms. And then I want to make ipatanat. And maybe peas. That's a lot of sides. Wait, the mayo for the peas, it wasn't in my order. Imaike. Yeah, like my, my Willie's order included mayo. But it was not there when I was unpack unpacking. Let's see. Oh, did they remove it? Or did I not add it? Maybe I added it in my mind, but then, yeah, it's not here in the... In my Willie's order. Okay, anyways. I'm waiting for the electricity to come back at 6 o'clock so that I can cook. One thing I'm going to do when we renovate is I'm going to get a gas stove. Unless we get an inverter and like solar panels and whatnot. But if we don't go down that route, I am going to get a gas stove because we cannot live like this. Because I can't cook. I literally can't cook because there's no electricity. Yeah. And I just thought now in this 30 minutes when I'm waiting for the power to come back, let me do some work. Um, earlier on at 4 o'clock when the power went out, I literally had to buy data and hotspot my work laptop so that i could work the amount of data that i have to buy like on a daily and weekly basis um because i work from home not all the time but like three days a week i'm at home and the amount of data that i have to buy in order to actually work because i work like on the drive i need constant internet access and so forth and so i constantly have to buy data it is very frustrating very very frustrating because of load shedding so i think maybe we should actually just get a like a modem where we just buy bulk data um as a backup for when we don't have power let's let's work <laughs> for the next 30 minutes and then we're gonna go cook Never rings in 
California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get any sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so dead California The sun is always shining bright oh, what's, it, what's wrong with thanks? You, you literally text my sister on my phone and say Good day, hope all is well Babe <laughs> Can you refer to the, to the message I sent on Thursday, babe? Heart is fire, but baby I bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get any sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know Guys, can I just tell you, it's like 9 o'clock and I just finished cooking now But I think the food looks good, baby So let me show you guys what I made So, this is the star of the show, we've got oxtail I love this Woody's oxtail. Absolutely adore it. But we've got the oxtail. I browned it a little bit. I think I overcooked it a little bit. But yeah, got the oxtail. And then we've got some creamed spinach and mushroom. I know it doesn't like look as appetizing, but trust me. Trust me, baby. It's it's good. Okay, it's it's real good. And then I've got some garlic bread. I think the is gonna have this by himself. I've been thinking of cheating on my diet. You know, one day is not gonna kill me. It's been three weeks. I've lost 5.5 kgs. But it hasn't even been a full three. It's been like two and a half weeks and I've lost more than five kgs. So maybe one day it won't kill me. And guys, over there we've got some pumpkin. I just need to add some cinnamon and honey onto it. And then here, We've got some peas. How good does that look?
Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds Stuck in this room that keeps spinning Wondering how you been, where you hide Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were Me feel. I don't wanna mess up your night. I don't wanna put up a fight. I don't wanna trouble you, babe. But I gotta say, I don't wanna waste no more time trying to shake the feelings inside. Finally, I made up my mind. Can't go one more day without you. since Sam is expired and there's traffic cops my husband called me saying that there's traffic cops um, like on the road that goes into our house so I can't drive home because my license expired on the 13th of January and today let's see what I'm sure it's past the 13th of Feb today is the 19th of Feb so <laughs> I literally can't drive home so I just called my husband now to tell him that I'm done and he has to go and meet me at the garage that's by our house so he's gonna walk from the house to the garage so that he can drive doesn't that suck doesn't that <laughs> suck but anyways I just got a fresh mani let me show you guys this is my Manny, you know, regular diggy. Like, hey, you probably can't see. Let me show you here. This is my Manny, you know, regular diggy, girl who loves red nails. So pretty, though. So, so pretty. I did like a nude here, like a white girl nude. <laughs> this weekend has just been so. What's the word I'm looking for? Restful. I literally didn't do anything. Yesterday when I vlogged for you guys, that's literally all I did the whole day. And then after I had brunch, like I woke up, I had coffee, I took an Epsom salt bath, and then I had brunch, and then I literally passed out. Like passed, passed out. And I slept the whole day. And you know what? Today I want to do the same thing. I actually just want to go home and sleep the whole day. I even saved YouTube videos that I want to watch when I'm preparing a new vlog. Like, there, there's so many YouTube videos I want to watch. But I promised my husband I'd make him burgers. So, let me go home and do that. I'm really hoping, like, into me, no, babe, let's go out. <sighs> because I'm even too tired to cook. And I want to go out eat out but last night because we were so tired we didn't eat out sorry we didn't cook 
um, we ate out. Yo, guys, reversing out of here is so tricky. Cha. I think I try to see Ben's here, but I If I had one wish, you'd be my best friend. And there's literally like somebody's car right in front of me. So I have to be, I have to be like ultra careful. I want to show you guys this place where I get my nails done. It's so beautiful, yeah. Like it's so so beautiful. I think it's like a part in an apartment block. Nebon, aku kuse guys. Inawa abantu abashala akabane manishem. Yeah, and there's also like this really nice restaurants here. Um, I get my nails done here and my waxes. And I just like the fact that I can get my 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 waxes and my nails done like <laughs> the same place, you know. You know, let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. Well, not home. Let's go to the garage because one thing is our band drives. Yeah, the cook on a low booty that annoys me so much. Alpha, who's the security guard? Because he always makes it seem as though like bike from an early parking. Let's say the, the parking, like the, the ground level parking is full and you have to go park in the basement. But it wins any favor and he always wants a bribe. Like yeah. Yeah. He always wants a bribe. And sometimes he'll explicitly say bye, but I was I was on buy a cold drink. No, I just won't buy a cold drink, my guy. <sighs> One thing about people in Joburg, Sana, buy a tender, I drink. Buy a tender, I drink. Buy a tender, and you the cops and take a bow. Yo, uh uh. Yeah. Let's go home. <laughs> I want to wish you'd be my best friend. Baby, why are you wearing those shorts? What's wrong with them? Eh? What's wrong with them? What? You don't see what's wrong with those shorts? Eh? Nothing. Eh, sir, sir? Why are you so impatient? <laughs> I'm not impatient. Right what? You want to take a risk, you can. <laughs> I mean, it's not like that, but I'm here to live fine. Hey, to survive me. It's quality to suck or it's quality to slam. Sorry, other way around. Yeah, it's going to sum. Exactly what she said. It's going to sum. It's going to suck. Yo, I'm so tired. You know what the gag is? I don't want to go home and cook. But I also don't want to go out. She get takeout. She get takeout. Yeah, huh? you can get burgers. From where? You can go to Rocco Mama's now. Eh? Uh? <laughs> that incline is deep. <laughs> I want to see you walk up that incline. Go, go to that incline right now. Baby, I'm going to drop you off where the no, cops are. No, baby, I'm, I'm never going to do that. I knew it was a figure up. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I wasn't out of breath. I was sweating, but I was not out of breath. Baby, why is so unfit? Huh? I was sweating, but I was not out of breath. Why is so unfit, my love? You need to go back to the gym. I was sweating, but I was not out of breath. When last did you go to the gym? I'm sure you haven't lifted a dumbbell in years. I did go to gym the one time at the point. <laughs> the one time at the point. We lived at the point for two years, my love. We lived there for two yeah. years. And you went to gym once? At the point. Right at the point. Is that brightness fine? Let's see. I think that's better. How's it, guys? How's it? So, I'm going to end this vlog soon. But, but, I know that being in 10 say EQ and A, um, specifically about my weight loss journey and intermittent fasting and just what I'm currently doing. Um, <laughs> I think I probably started this vlog two weeks ago. Or was it a week ago? I can't remember when I started this vlog. But 
um i'm currently at the end of week three of my weight loss journey with my doctor and i have lost 6.7 kgs <laughs> so on average i've been losing like 2.2 kgs per week um which i think is a little extreme to be quite honest um my plan was to lose like one kg per week um yeah but but we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a future video i did promise you guys a q a so i'm gonna get into the q a um but before because i think a lot of these questions are quite similar before i actually answer the questions i think i want to actually explain what intermittent fasting is because i'm aware that not everybody actually knows right so intermittent fasting is basically a style of eating where you have certain hours during a day where you eat and certain hours during a day where you don't eat right the most popular type of intermittent fasting is like 16 8 where you fast for 16 hours and you have all of your meals within an eight hour window so an eight hour window would look like having breakfast at 10 maybe having lunch at 2 and then having dinner at um six o'clock right or half past five to end at six so your eating window is essentially between 10 a.m and 6 p.m and then from 6 p.m on like tonight until 10 a.m that i should be wearing my glasses yes guys because i literally can't even see myself in the viewfinder um but from 6 p.m tonight until 10 a.m tomorrow morning you are essentially fasting um and that is 16 hours of fasting that is the most popular type of intermittent fasting and to be quite honest um that's the intermittent fasting that i'm actually used to and accustomed to and have been doing like for years and years and years um can okay, maybe not years and years like probably for the past three years um because i'm naturally not really a breakfast person in fact in my house we don't really even have like breakfast food like we don't have oats and milk and cereals and stuff like that because my husband and i don't really eat breakfast he used to and then when we got married he kind of adjusted to the way that i eat and i typically eat like after 10 a.m um and most days i actually eat after 12 p.m so yeah so i'm used to the 16 a's but there's other forms um of, of intermittent fasting and mind you during your during your fasting window you basically don't consume anything that would spike your insulin um so you only really consume zero calorie things um so things like plain black coffee with no milk and no sugar um you consume tea like green tea black tea uh five roses with no milk and no sugar water unflavored sparkling water etc etc you can do some zero calorie drinks um but my doctor actually cautioned me against this because some sweeteners not all some sweeteners um even though they're zero calorie have quite an adverse effect on your insulin so if you're somebody like me who already struggles with insulin resistance um it's probably not a good idea so for example uh coke zero fanta zero sprite zero are all sweetened with aspartame and aspartame will spike your insulin levels so if you consume like a coke zero during your fasting period you essentially break your fast because that contains aspartame and aspartame will spike your insulin um there are some sweeteners that don't spike your insulin at all like stevia for example doesn't but in south africa i honestly don't know any drinks that are uh, that are um sweetened with stevia i just use stevia in like my tea um yeah so that's what intermittent fasting is other people do like 18-6 um, where you fast for 18 hours and you eat in a six hour window some people do um, 24 where you fast for 20 hours and you eat in a four hour window usually when you do like 18 6 or 24 um, you usually have two meals as opposed to three because it's, it's virtually impossible to fit three meals into like four hours in a day so yeah that's what intermittent fasting is um, like I said I've been doing intermittent fasting for quite a number of years um, but my plan with my doctor was that um she was she she recommended that i start on like a moderate intermittent fasting plan where i gradually increase my fasting up until i get to alternate day fasting but she said that because i've been doing intermittent fasting for such a long time um i don't have to take a whole month to gradually build myself up she just said do 18 6 
um, and then move on to like one meal a day. But if you feel you're ready for alternate day fasting, then like go ahead. Um, judge like how your body feels, how your mind feels and do what you think you have the emotional, mental and physical capacity to do. Um, yeah, so I basically did 18-6 for one week and then I literally the following week moved on to intermittent alternate day fasting. And alternate day fasting is also a type of intermittent fasting. It's just a much more extreme one whereby you literally fast for an entire day and you eat every other day. So the plan that I'm on that she recommended um, that I do for the next couple of months is basically eat four days a week and fast three days a week. Um, and that basically means that on those three fasting days, I don't eat at all. Like I don't consume any calories. And then on my eating days, I eat three meals a day. Um, yeah. So, and obviously those three days are not all like clamped up. <laughs> it's not like I'm fasting Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, how I've laid it out is that I fast on a Monday. Um, so Monday is a complete fasting day. I eat on Tuesday and I have three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Tuesday. I fast on Wednesday. Um, the whole day I don't consume any calories. And then on Thursday I do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I fast on Friday again. And then I eat on Saturday and Sunday and then I start again. So my eating days are, are Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. My fasting days are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And how that works out in terms of hours is that I fast for about 40 hours and then I eat for an eight hour period um, so I'll typically break my fast um, so I'll typically start my fast at like 8 p.m. on Sunday night right so I'll have dinner by 8 p.m. on Sunday I won't have breakfast lunch or dinner on Monday on Tuesday I won't have breakfast and then I'll have my first meal at 12 midday on Tuesday do you get what I mean? So my last meal is on Sunday at 8 p.m. My first meal is um, Tuesday at 12 p.m., like 12 midday. So I'll typically break my fast with something small um, that my stomach can take. Because you, you find that when you start fasting, um, especially like extended periods of time of fasting, is that the capacity of food that your stomach can take gets less and less and less and less so if you've been fasting for 40 hours and you go and eat like a massive meal you might struggle to consume all of that food so i try to ease myself into my eating day so i'll break my fast with something small and then i'll have a slightly bigger meal maybe two hours later or three hours later and then i'll have a big dinner um like five hours later basically and then i start again fasting on tuesday at 8 p.m and i'll go have my my next meal on thursday at 12 midday yeah, so that's the plan that my doctor put me on. I've known about alternate day fasting, guys, like for years. For years, way before I even met this doctor, I follow a lot of people on YouTube who do intermittent fasting. And I'll actually link some videos for you guys um, in the description box of people who do alternate day fasting specifically um, so that you can get a little bit more scientific information than what I'm able to provide because I'm not a scientist, I'm not a healthcare professional. Um, with that being said, actually, please do not take anything that I say here as like healthcare advice, as weight loss advice. I am not that girl. So the lifestyle content here, but I know that... Um, sharing my experience may be valuable but just because something is my experience doesn't mean that it is the right thing for you to do and in fact although i recommend intermittent fasting like about 18 6 to most people i don't recommend alternate day fasting unless you have consulted with a doctor and your doctor has okayed you to do it yeah <laughs> okay let's get to the questions. i think i've been talking for a while let's get to the questions okay Okay, so Dr. Nosipo says, what do you think um, is working for you? The diet you're on, exercise, or the fasting? To be quite honest, I think the thing that has made the biggest difference is the fasting. I'm actually exercising less now than I typically do. Um, so it's definitely not the exercise because I've cut my exercise like, quite significantly. I only go to gym like once or twice a week. Um, and even then, I don't do anything hectic. Um, I will pick up gym like as I progress with my weight loss, but I just didn't want to overwhelm myself at the beginning. Um, and my doctor actually recommended to me that I cut down on gym up until my body has adjusted properly and I'm no longer suffering through the fasting. Once my fasting becomes a very natural part of my everyday life, then I can incorporate like hectic workouts again. So I'd say definitely the fasting. Um, the diet I'm on, I think is also making a difference. So I'm doing low carb like mubanting keto but to be quite honest um 
I've been I've been doing keto since the beginning of the year and I did it for like a good month before I actually started into my, like alternate day fasting and I didn't lose anything. I literally didn't lose anything, so I, I think it's definitely the fasting. Um okay, and then this question says, How are you managing weight loss with a man in the house? They are not good accountability partners. <laughs> so fortunately, my husband um is quite supportive. Um, so he also likes like isn't as sweetie and junk food like I do um, But I've noticed shame that ever since I've like become serious about losing weight and communicated I actually need your help. I need your support. He's been quite supportive. So that's been great um, So he doesn't bring like unhealthy food to the house and when he does he'll always bring me an alternative Oh, that's him actually coming back um yeah he's been quite supportive shem and he really goes out of his way for example it was valentine's day earlier um <laughs> this week and he like wanted to buy me chocolate but he went out of his way to go and find like carb free chocolate for me to have on valentine's day so yeah shem he's he's also making the sacrifices is that was what i'm saying um how are you feeling for the most part, I feel great. Um, I'm definitely starting to feel lighter. It's amazing what like six or seven cages can do. Like to just your joints, your knees. Um, I'm definitely starting to feel lighter. Emotionally, it's quite hard. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's it's hard. It's really hard. That that that's what I can say. But I guess it's just what I have to do um for now. Do you not eat breakfast uh, on my fasting days? No, I don't. But on my eating days, I do eat breakfast. I just have it like late, I guess, um, at 12 midday. Um, which app do you use for the intermittent fasting? The app that I use is called Fastic. That's what I use. Is tea uh, without sugar um, but with milk bad when doing intermittent fasting? Okay, so sugar... Um, will spike your insulin so that essentially breaks your fast with milk i guess it depends on the type of milk that you are using if it's milk that contains carbs like normal dairy milk or oat milk um that will definitely break your fast but i've heard people say almond milk is okay because it barely has any carbs at all or protein it's very 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 low in calories like extremely low in calories um but just to be on the safe side i don't put any milk at all not even almond milk um or sugar in in my coffee why did you start your weight loss journey i started this journey guys because being overweight is negatively affecting my life um it's not just like about the vanity of it all about you know being able to wear nicer clothes because you know they don't make nice clothes or at least lots of places don't make nice clothes for plus size girls it's honestly not about that that's a little bit of it but that i'd probably say that's like two percent ninety percent is because it actually affects my life negatively I am often very, very tired and I know that it is linked to my weight because my, my issues with exhaustion started after I gained a lot of weight. Um, I have joint issues. I struggle to walk up the stairs in my house. I sweat easily and so I don't even enjoy going to the mall and going shopping anymore. Um, and yet that was something I used to love doing. Like I used to go shopping on a weekly basis. Um, but I don't go anymore because walking through the mall is just a nightmare because I sweat so much. I get hot, I get tired. So, and all of these things have happened as a result of me gaining weight. Um, yeah. That's why I decided to start my weight loss journey. Once at your goal through fasting, can you go back to having two to three meals a day? Yes, I'm sure you can. But my plan is to um, always do intermittent fasting, but I'll do moderate. Like I'm not going to do alternate day fasting my whole life. I'll probably go back to doing like a 16-8 and then I will use that to kind of maintain my weight um, and see if that is actually helpful. Maintenance is probably going to be a trial and error, to be quite honest, um, and I think that's okay. Um, as somebody who gains weight extremely easily, like even when I eat healthy food, I can still gain weight. Um, I will probably just have to be that person that watches my weight my whole life, you know. Um, I've lost weight multiple times before in my life, mainly through doing low-carb diets and doing intermittent fasting. That's how I've lost weight in the past. But as soon as I stop the intermittent fasting and I stop the low carb, I gain the weight back. Um, 
yeah so yeah and and because of the hormonal issues that i have i know that I will probably just have to watch my weight for the rest of my life. Like, I think it's just, it's the cross that I have to bear. Similar to how some people struggle with like acne and other skin um, discomforts. And that's just the cross that they have to bear. And they, some of them struggle their whole lives. Like I'm just one of those people that <laughs> struggles with their weight. Um, yeah. Um, are you controlling your portions when it's time to eat? To be honest, not really. Um, and it's because... Because I skip an entire day of having no calories, it's very difficult for me to overeat on my eating days. Do you get what I mean? Like, you know how, let's say, for example, you're supposed to be eating 2,500 calories to maintain your weight every single day. Chances are, um, if you skip an entire day of eating, right, and you consume zero calories, in order to maintain your weight, you'd have to consume 5,000 calories the following day in order to still maintain your weight. What are the chances that you can eat 5,000 calories? <laughs> like, truly, truly, what are the chances? Especially because I eat literally in an eight-hour window. Guys, sometimes I even struggle to get to, like, 3,000, let me tell you. I struggle to get to 3,000. Typically, I hit about 2, maybe 2.5 calories on my eating days. Um, I typically can't do anything more than that without force feeding myself. So I'm not counting my calories. I try to eat foods that are very calorically dense, still healthy, but calorically dense. Um, so instead of eating like super light calorie things, I eat things with a lot of, of calories, like avocados, meat, um, butter on my vegetables, etc. So that I can make sure I get all my calories in. How do you eat when you break for the fast? Is there a specific diet that your doctor recommended? So my doctor recommended that I do keto. I wouldn't say that I'm following her introductions 100%, to be quite honest, mainly because keto is really difficult, guys, in the sense that um, even if you cut out all the sugar, it's quite hard to meet your macros like perfectly. You get what I mean? So in order to do keto, you need to eat about 70% of your calories from fat, 20% from um, 20, no, 75% from fat, 20% from protein, and 5% from carbs. I probably am able to meet the carbs one. The fat, guys, it is, you have to eat a lot of fat, like a lot of fat <laughs> to get to 75% of your calories coming from fat. I would probably say I maybe eat 60% of my calories from fat, to be quite honest. Um, but I don't count. Um, but when I think about the days when I used to do strict keto, um, I, I needed to do like bullet coffees and that was just too much work. So I'm doing low carb, high fat, moderate protein, but I wouldn't say it's exactly keto because I'm not following the macros like that perfectly. Hi Zizi, what do you take while you are fasting? Okay. So, just to put it out there, I'm not taking any appetite suppressants at all. No duramine, no... I forgot what the other one is called that you inject yourself with, deliberate, but I'm not taking any appetite suppressants. Not because I think there's anything wrong with appetite suppressants, but because my doctor said to me, Kuba, if you can do it without the appetite suppressants, rather do it that way. Because appetite suppressants, although they help make your fast easier, um they come with their own side effects like for example i don't know if you guys know fentanyl in south africa they call they call it duramine guys Uduri, you will have heart palpitations you will have insomnia like there's just so many side effects and i'm just like you know what i don't want to suffer like that i don't want to suffer like that i will just push through with my own willpower and it's been working so far but i mean it's only been three weeks so I don't know if, if my willpower is still going to carry me three months, six months, nine months down the line. Um, my doctor did say, though, that um, if I struggle, like if it's too difficult for me to do it with my willpower, I mustn't act tough. I must just tell her and she will write me a script for um, some appetite suppressant that she thinks would be suitable for me. And then she'll just help me to manage the symptoms of that appetite suppressant. Um, but yeah. Um, and in terms of like what I consume, I don't consume any food. I don't consume any calories. Um, I drink water, sparkling water, like plain sparkling water, plain water, black coffee, no milk, no sugar, as well as tea. So I do like black tea, green tea, five roses, Roy Boss, um, but it's all with like no milk and no sugar. I am trying to find like other sugar-free, um, zero-calorie drinks that don't contain aspartame. 
but I still haven't found them. So at the moment that that's literally all I consume guys in that 40 hours of fasting. Okay, this quick this is a good question. She says, Does this method work on anyone? I'm also struggling to lose weight. You know what, Nate? Like I said earlier, I think moderate, light to moderate intermittent fasting, like about 16 8, I think are fine for everyone. But if you are not being currently coached or helped by a doctor, a medical professional, I don't recommend you do alternate day fasting. Not because anything bad has happened to me or I've heard of anything bad happening to anyone. But it's a lot this thing, you know, so you might have like underlying health issues um, that wouldn't allow you to do this type of fasting. So hence, I always say, please go and speak to a doctor. Okay, even if it's literally just a once off consultation, please go and speak to a doctor. Okay, this question says, are you eating clean during your eating window or is it anything you want? I don't eat anything that I want. I eat mainly like home cooked healthy foods um like i said i'm doing high fat moderate protein um low carb but i'd say 90 percent of the meals that i eat during my eating windows i make inside my house with like ingredients that i bought um on the weekends i will like either go out for dinner with my husband or we'll go out for brunch after church or lunch after church um that's the only time where i really eat something outside of the house but other than that i i'd say i eat clean like 90 percent of the time Okay, your, this question says, your fasting times seem very extreme, or is it alternate day fasting? I've lost 2.5 kgs a week doing 16.8. I'm so happy for you, darling, that you lost 2.5 kgs doing 16.8. I did not. I tried that, and I did not. Um, hence, I've gone to this type of intermittent fasting that I'm doing because doing 16.8 did not work for me. Um, but it does work for other people. You are an exhibit of one of those people that it works for. Um... I'm doing this uh, this intermittent fasting because I trust the doctor that um, recommended it and it's working great so far. Am I going to do it forever? Definitely not <laughs> because it's very difficult. Um, it's not as difficult as I anticipated, but it is difficult um, and I don't want to live my life doing difficult things. <laughs> it's the long and the short of it. Um, how do you avoid cravings? I just let them come and go. Um, in fact, there's another question straight after this that says, don't you get hungry? Yes, I get hungry, guys. Now I'm going to be doing it. Like, I'm a person. I get hungry. But what I've learned over these couple of weeks with hunger is that I think we're so scared of hunger because we think that um, hunger just like gets exponentially worse um, with time. That the more time goes by without you eating, the worse and worse and worse and worse your hunger gets. But that's not actually the case. Um, hunger comes in waves, right? So you will be hungry and then the hunger will go away. And then you'll be hungry again, then the hunger will go away. And then you'll be hungry again, and the hunger, hunger will go away. It doesn't go like an exponential graph. Rather, it goes like this. I would say that's how hunger goes. And in fact, you spend more time not hungry than you actually do spend hungry. I've noticed that on my fasting days, in the morning, I don't get hungry at all. Like, at all, guys. At all, at all. I don't get hungry at all. My hunger will kick in around 12 midday because my body is used to eating at that time. You get what I mean? It will kick in at about 12 midday. It will maybe last an hour or two and then it will go away. You know, even though I didn't eat anything, my hunger will literally go away and then it will come back again around dinner time, around like 7 o'clock. Um, and even then it will last two, maybe three hours and then it will go away. Like, and so I, I just have to like during those short bits of time. Um, and the rest of the day, I'm honestly fine. Like, sorry, this thing stopped recording. I've been talking for a while, but I was saying, um, most of the day I'm actually like genuinely fine. Um, I just have to buy those couple of hours of like hunger at midday at lunchtime and then hunger and at dinner time. But outside of those times, guys, I, I actually feel fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you drink electrolytes? I should be. I should be drinking electrolytes because electrolytes are very important when you are doing any type of low carb diet or when you're doing intermittent fasting. Because when you're doing intermittent fasting, 
or just low carb diet in general you lose quite a bit of water and so with losing water you also lose your electrolytes like sodium magnesium potassium and so forth so you actually need to take an electrolyte supplement i just have been too lazy to actually go and look for one but i should be taking an electrolyte supplement even my doctor said i should be um i just haven't gone made the effort to actually go and find one what do you break your fast with i usually break my fast with some kind of a protein smoothie but like a very small one or i'll break my fast with like eggs and avocado or like um avocado on toast like low carb toast um yeah it's never like a really really big meal um i i always try to break my fast with something small and then a few hours later i'll have like a bigger meal do you not get weak or lethargic after a long stretch of fasting like how do you concentrate at work Funny enough, and people who do alternate day fasting or just intermittent fasting in general have actually said this. Guys, I am most productive on the days that I fast. Because I noticed these past few weeks, about once I eat, I need a nap. Regardless of what I eat, I need a nap immediately after. And then, like, then I feel lethargic after my meals. But with intermittent fasting, like I feel like my brain works so much quicker. I'm so much more alert and so much more awake to a point where I can do work at like 10 o'clock in the evening if that was a fasting day because I'm so alert and so awake. I don't know why that happens. And a lot of people have said, and I didn't believe it until I started doing fasting myself. And it's the truth. It's the truth. But it's, it's difficult at the beginning. So in the beginning, when you start out, you'll feel lethargic. But your body adjusts very quickly. I would say... Even a week is sufficient for your body to adjust. Um, and I literally feel the sharpest and like I'm able to concentrate best on my work, on my fasting days than I am on my eating days. Um, yeah. Is it necessary to be active or work out or is intermittent fasting effective on its own? Um, something that my doctor said to me is that exercising is not for weight loss. Exercising is for cardiovascular health, so like heart health, and you do that through cardio. Um, and then weightlifting, um, weightlifting exercises are important for like shaping your body, tightening your body um, so that you feel good and you look good. But in terms of losing weight and losing fat, it's all in what you eat and how often you eat. Um, so if you're just trying to lose weight and you don't really care for any of the other benefits of exercising i don't think exercising is important um but i do think human beings in general should be exercising um for the sake of our health yeah <laughs> okay do you get any cravings like ice cream if so how do you remain disciplined like i said guys i literally just ride the wave i just ride it and i just choose and i suffer through the craving um and you know what i've learned to go by like either way you're gonna suffer so you're either going to suffer by being overweight and having joint issues and sweating and getting tired or you're going to suffer by resisting the things that you like but who, that cause weight gain um so you just have to choose what type of suffering do you want to suffer like suffering is suffering sure um <laughs> but um there are options guys that are like lower in calories lower in sugar um for example with ice cream i really like ice cream that's a weakness of mine most times when i crave it i just don't have it but on times when i i just i absolutely have to i have the woolies carb clever ice cream um it's not i wouldn't say that thing is banting or keto friendly but i think it's much better than having hogging days a hogging days you're looking at probably like 100 grams of carbs in that one tub the woolies one i think has like 20 grams of carbs so yeah do you still work out with the alternate day fasting? Um, so I do work out, but like I said, I only go to gym like twice a week. And even then, I only go on days when I'm eating. Because the reality of exercise, guys, especially like weight training, in fact, all type of exercise, I feel, exercising is going to make you hungry. <laughs> so if you are fasting that day and you, and you go and exercise, and that's going to make you even more hungry, you're going to be in hell. So rather... If you're going to do alternate day fasting, keep your exercises to the days when you are eating. Okay, I'm going to answer one more question and it's going to be a wrap. Is intermittent fa fasting sustainable in the long run? Is it something you can do forever? I think because I'm a person who struggles with my weight and who always has to be on the ball, I, 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 and if I'm not on the ball, I will gain weight very quickly and very easily. Um, 
I think I will always do intermittent fasting, but like I said earlier, I will do intermittent fasting that is like moderate as a way to maintain my weight. So I'll probably switch to like 16-8 to maybe 18-6 as a way of maintaining my weight. Um, I don't think uh, like alternate day fasting, Some there are people actually, there are people and stories I've read on and I've watched on YouTube where people literally do alternate day fasting their entire lives. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's too hard. Um, so I think I will always do all, um, intermittent fasting, especially because I have insulin resistance. But I'm sure my insulin resistance will get better um, as I lose weight. But I don't think I'll do alternate day fasting forever. But I think I can and will do um, intermittent fasting forever. Okay. I'm going to call it a wrap here. We've been talking. Um, I hope you guys found that Q&A useful and this chat useful. Jay. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm going to go and have dinner. I need to start my fast soon. So I'm going to go and have dinner and watch a movie with my husband. Maybe cuddle. As I was too. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, guys. I appreciate you being here. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider clicking the subscribe button. It is free 99. Till next time. Bye. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through I've been thinking about my options Every detail in my head But it doesn't really 